Hey everyone, it's just me, Charles here, and uh, today we're going to show y'all how I change the UV sterilization bulb uh, in my water uh, purification catchment system. Um, so basically, that's this thing right here that uh, has got a UV emitting uh, bulb in it, and that's what we're going to change. And of course, I have a new bulb already. But the first thing I got to do is I've got to shut off this water valve right here. This actually is the valve that goes to the catchment. And it's, it's a tough one sometimes. There we go. Uh, it goes to the catchment. It, it's uh, the source. And of course, it goes through here and into the water pump, which is the next step. Is I've got to basically kill the power to the pump. And so it's just a little, you know, little pump. Not, not a, don't need a big, big thing. And of course, in here is the plug, and we just basically going to pull it out, put it down there, because we have to drain the pressure off. But the next thing I need to do is close this valve. As you can see, this valve comes up here. So basically, our water supply comes through here, comes into the bottom of the the uh, bulb housing, flows through, and this course goes to house goes to house and that goes to the washing machine so we got to turn this off too because I don't want to drain the water out of the house pipes but now we've got to relieve pressure so we do that really simply by coming over here and turning the water on <laughs> and of course the dogs just love it and Goliath is right there waiting hoping Yes, I know, Goliath, I know. But it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay, we have bled off the pressure. We're down to an empty tank, zero PSI. Next thing we got to do, basically kill the power to the bulb. And so as you can see, we've got an error code, which is A3. And basically, change the bulb time. So we'll go ahead and just unplug the uh, cable there and uh, powers off our next step is real simple all we have to do is pull this retaining pin right here and we do that just with a little bit of a flathead screwdriver and it just comes out like that well you're not supposed to pull it all the way out but uh oh yeah let me put that back in <laughs> but then lift it up grab the bulb pop that off and just pull the bulb out so that is the bulb nothing spectacular but uh, definitely definitely needs to be changed okay now we could just put the new bulb in and reattach it and be done with it however it does come with these o-rings there's two of them actually and there's a reason why because inside this container there is a glass tube that basically keeps the bulb separated from the water and the o-rings are the key to making that happen so we need to change these o-rings as well um, even though we don't have a link a leak um, the glass rod in here does need to be removed and cleaned from time to time so we're going to go ahead and do that now and that is a simple process uh, we just have to unscrew these simple little caps there's one on top there's one on bottom i like to hold that glass tube in there when i do it now when i pull this out we're probably going to end up with water and you see the bottom has a spring in it so i like to just give the bulb a little twist Or not the bulb, but the glass tube, just a little twist. And just roll that O-ring right off, the old one. And then just pull that out. You see, we still have the O-ring on top. Now, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Um, but you can see that there's brown on this tube and it's on the outside and that is basically just 
um, take that off. And that is just basically dirt uh, that gets through the filters in the water. And which is why I then run um, my water through another uh, five stage filter in the house before it's drink and consume just because we do get this little bit of fine sediment that does get through but this is built up over a year so as you can see it's not a lot so what we gotta do now is clean this and dry it up and then reassemble it I have now cleaned the tube as you can see all the brown is gone it's nice and clear and dry so now what we gotta do is put it back in there but first, I need to get my new O-rings. And what we're going to do is we can see, I don't know if y'all can see or not, right there. See that, that little black mark? That's where one of the old O-rings sat. So we know that's basically where we want to get this one. And I believe that's the bottom one. Uh, we're just going to push it up just like that give it just a little bit of a wiggle so any rolls kind of straighten out a little bit and, and now we're going to reinsert it now i pulled it out of the top but this time i'm going in it's just easier on the o-rings and stuff Or because of the rings and stuff for me to just do it that way and now we put this other ring in and we just squish them up and we want to make split the difference between the two and just put the cap on and that cap will help squish that o-ring back up into the place that it needs to go. So tighten them, but don't over tighten. Oh. Okay. Now one thing about these bulbs is you wanna keep in mind when handling them, handle them by the green ends. Don't touch the glass. Uh, fingerprints or skin oil uh, or any type of other oil or contaminant on the glass uh, can cause the glass to crack once it's been uh, energized and heated, so. Now what I like to normally do is you can see this top has uh, different tiers for its connection prongs. So I like to check inside there and just kind of line them up a little bit. So when I insert this, they're already kind of, I don't have to figure out which way it goes. Because you want to definitely attach that before you drop the bulb in there. Put that back on. Push that pen, retaining pin back in all the way. And we're done. Well, not quite. Uh, next thing we do is we got to repressurize the system, which means we got to turn the water back on. First thing I like to do, of course, is make sure that I turn this back on, whereas I probably shut it off after I drained the water. And the reason is, is because when I t plug the system back in and the tank or the pump kicks back on and starts trying to fill, refill the tank, it can push all the, the, uh, all the uh, air out of line. So, however, though, I need both hands to do this. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got it plugged back in. As you can hear, the pump is running, but I forgot to turn this on. <laughs> don't want to forget to turn that back on and you normally want to do that first uh, so that way you don't burn up your pump but we've got some pressure going up but we need to go close that that uh, hose over here you see we've got plenty of water coming out so all the air has been pushed out 
So we just turn all that off. And that should allow our tank to repressurize. Okay, the pump has fully charged the tank to about 45 PSI. And um, I don't feel or see any water on the top. And there is a little bit of water on the bottom there. But that is probably just because of the water that I let out. So let me find something to dry that off real quick. I grabbed a towel, so we're going to now dry this off. And this is, of course, you know, something I should have done, you know, before I even repressurized the pump. Because that way then I would know for a fact if there was water or not. So, oh, give it a hand test. And now we just wait a minute. If there's a small drip or leak, it will show itself very quickly. And I don't feel any, so we, we should be good to go. For the final part, which is this little control box right here. What we have to do, of course, is plug it back in. And you would think, well, Charles, um, that's easy. You just plug it back in. And yes, it is easy to apply power to it, but we have to reset the, the uh, counter on it so that it knows it's got a new bulb and it can start counting down the year for it because that's what we have to do with these is change them with the year. So over here on the side, there's a button. So I'm gonna push that button, hold it in. I'm gonna plug the power back in. I'm gonna keep pressing the button. Reset, let go. And now, I don't know if you can see, but we'll, we'll, we'll bring you up here to it. 365, that means we have 365 days until we have to do this all again. And there you go. That's how you change the UV sterilization bulb in a water purification system here in Hawaii. I do appreciate you watching. You have a great day.